With the Stream Builder widget, you can display real-time updates in your app. This means the Stream Builder widget listens to a stream. For example, in this case, we will receive the real-time Bitcoin price from the internet and the Stream Builder cares that this information gets then updated all the time and is rendered within our app. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. We want to look here at three cases. The first one is a local case where we actually update our data locally with the Stream Builder. Then later you also have your button where you can then also update your Stream Builder. And lastly, we will get then the data from the internet. Let's get started to implement the Stream Builder and therefore I create here a field Bitcoin price. And because we want to start with the local variant of our Stream Builder, we put here some data already inside. After it, we go to our build method and here we create a Stream Builder and a Stream Builder always needs to return some type. And we want to have here a double because our Bitcoin price is of a type of double. And then you can add here some initial data and this initial data is displayed here within our app until we get the first data from our stream. And we put here inside our Bitcoin price, which we have to find here at the top. After that, we add the property stream and here we set then the stream inside within a new method. And this method returns then also a stream of double. And here inside we create a stream and therefore I call here this periodic constructor. And inside of it, you set then the duration, which means how often our stream gets updated and in this case, every second. And then we return here the value of our stream. And therefore this counter here, which we get is every time, every second updated. And this means it starts here with the value of zero, then it goes to one, two, three, and so on. And therefore I take here the Bitcoin price and add here every time $5 to this Bitcoin price. This means every second our counter gets updated and if the counter is higher, then also we get here a higher price. And lastly, we need to go again to our stream builder. And here we implement the builder method to display this data, our price. And therefore I can access our Bitcoins, which is here this double with the snapshot.data. And we want to convert it to a string. And after it, we return here a text, which is centered here inside of the middle of our app. And then we put here our Bitcoins inside, which is the string, which we converted from the double to a string. And we also give it some text style. And now we can look here at the result. And you see that this value here gets every time updated by five, which we have defined here inside. And to make our display here more interesting, I have created a new widget, a Bitcoin widget, where we also put our Bitcoins inside. And then we have here some icon and also some shadow and the text is showing here. And therefore I have simply put here this image inside and I also gave it here some shadow and so on. And we also display here the Bitcoin text inside. And if you want to get here more information about this, then you can get the source code with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a more advanced developer. Now we want to continue and build a controller so we can click here on a button and every time if we press on this button, then our stream builder displays here the new value which we have then put inside of our stream. First of all, we like to add here around our Bitcoin widget a column and inside of it we want to display our button. And now under our Bitcoin widget, we add then here a button and we create it within a new method, this race button. And here inside I put simply a text and also an on press handler. So later if we click on this button, then we want to execute here some functionality and we also give it here some different styling so that it looks better. And now every time if we click on this button, then we want to update here our Bitcoin price within our stream builder. And therefore I go here to the top and create a stream controller so that we can control the stream of our builder. And the stream controller is of a value of double because we want to always have here this price in our stream inside. After it also make sure to call this dispose method where we clean our controller again up. 
And now we want to get here the stream outside of our controller. So we don't get here the stream by our method anymore. We put here the controller inside and then you can access the stream by calling here stream. And now if we click on this button, then we want to update here our Bitcoin price. And therefore I go here down to our button to this on press handler, which is then executed if we click on this button. And here inside we want to update our Bitcoin price. So we always add here $50 to our Bitcoin price if we click on this button. And after it, we update here our value within our stream builder. And therefore we call here this controller.sync. And then you can add here this new Bitcoin price. And this will care that this controller.stream gets here every time this new value. And the stream builder is then caring about to display this new data within our app. And now we can try it out. So if I click here on this button, you see that we always get here this new value, which we put to our controller sync. And this is then displayed here within our stream builder. And he gets in here the new value every time. And lastly, we want to load this Bitcoin price from a real time API so that we always get the real Bitcoin price within our app. Therefore, we go to our stream builder and here within our stream, we put then this Bitcoin API get price inside. And this is a method I have already created within a Bitcoin API class. And basically what is happening here inside is that we first of all get the price from an API. And therefore I use here this HTTP package, which I also have integrated here within our dependencies in our pubspec jaml file. And then later we get here a double back from this API, which is then the current Bitcoin price. And then we simply convert this future dot double inside of a stream. And therefore I create here a new method. And here we basically put a stream periodic. So we call this API, for example, here every single second. And then we simply put here the get prices future inside. And this will then call this get prices future every second. And the stream will then return here every second the new Bitcoin price. And lastly, we go inside of our builder. And here inside, we want to catch the errors so in case that our api is not available or something then we want to display here text which says some error occurred and we also need to integrate here this waiting state and here we simply display a circular progress indicator in the middle until we get this data from the internet and now we can try this here out so it's loading first of all this data and then it is always updating here our value and this can take some time because this API, which I took, always updates its value every 10 seconds. And then this value gets here always updated. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!